Hi, my name is Fernando and I've been using GigWalk since September of 2011. Last year I successfully completed over 600 gigs for Microsoft using the Photosynth app, totaling over $5,000 in total gigs completed. Well, these gigs are back in even more cities than ever before. Now using Photosynth isn't difficult, but it is important to practice to ensure that you get the best results possible before you go out in the field. This series of videos is to help those of you who've never done these types of gigs before. A couple of tips when talking to the people at the gig location. If you can, get permission before you head out to the gig. Explain to them that you're doing this for Bing Maps and it's free advertising that'll help them promote their business listing. Tell them that you're photographing businesses in the area and mention any that you've already photographed. Okay, so you've downloaded the Photosynth app. You want to go ahead and click on that, and it's going to take you to the picture screen. But before you start to take any pictures, go ahead and log in to your Microsoft Live account by clicking on that utility icon down at the bottom. You want to go ahead and click Not Connected. This is the sign-in screen for your Microsoft account. Uh, if you haven't signed up for Microsoft Live, then you want to go ahead and sign up for it down here. But if you have, then go ahead and click in your account information that you have to log in with. And you'll know that you're logged in when you see your Photosynth name that you created for yourself there next to Photosynth. So now that you know that you're logged in, go ahead and get back to the camera screen. And this will take you directly into the screen that you'll use to take your Photosynth. There we are, we've gotten our approval from the management or the owner. So I've started my panorama and I'm going to try to go all the way down to the floor and you'll notice right there that the box in the center of the panorama is actually yellow. I went ahead and used my thumb to take a manual shot. Now typically you want to avoid doing that, but on occasions where there's an all white background or an all black background, then that would be the time to take a manual shot. And notice that my hand has not changed levels. I'm only rotating for my wrist. That's the most important thing. If you follow the dotted lines around the room and you have a room that has different colors and different edges and textures, then it shouldn't be a problem to take a panorama. And just give a quick little scan to make sure that you've got everything. But now I'm going to go ahead and hit finish because it looks like I've got the floor to the ceiling pretty good. And if you want to notice here, Take a look at when you're at this level at stitching to make sure that you have a pretty clear horizon line between the floor and the ceiling to make sure that you have a good panorama. So I've started it and notice how my front foot stays in one place and I just rotate off of my front foot and I make sure that the bottom of the camera is aligned with my front foot and that you're just using that as your pivot point as you move around the room to take the panoramic shot. So as you can see I'm standing in the center of the room. Typically that's the best place to take the panorama. If you're in a narrow place then go ahead and stand against one of the walls and using the same principle rotate from the side of the wall scanning all the way around the room this time in a 180 degree fashion you want to go ahead and make sure that your wrist is in the same level and that you're not moving your wrist up and down at all and you're just keeping the camera over your foot